Hiker Jay here. This week I'll be talking about my favorite backpacking stove, the Optimus Crux. That's right, Kevin. This is my tra my trail chicken, Kevin, right here, and he's gonna help me review this stove today. Uh, if you haven't watched my chicken videos, you can check them out. But I love chicken, especially these uh, these Polish styles with the big plumes. But what we're gonna be talking about is the Optimus Crux. It's the solo kit, and I love it. I've used it for over a year now, and I think it's time to do a review. So stay with me. We'll break it all down. If this is the first time you come into my channel, if you would go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell so you can get notifications. I put out videos every Thursday and hopefully you'll like them as much as Kevin loves his scratch right here. So just getting into the crux, it is actually 15 ounces, which is just under a pound, and that's with a canister in the can. That's what I like about it, it's self-contained. You can have everything you have. And the canister lasts for a weekend trip. The one gripe that I have is I like this case, but it's so tight, it's sometimes hard to actually get everything out of it. So um, if it had like more of a bungee top or whatever, but that's really the only gripe. Um, and on here I keep a can opener and a lighter on that. So the way that it comes is stacked like this. You've got your nice little cup or bowl type setup right here. And then your stove comes in a nice little nylon pouch, which I think is great because it keeps it clean from dust and that type of stuff. And here's the actual brain of the whole system. And then inside, I have a canister, uh, you know, a 7.4 ounce canister. Uh, this is about half full. We're gonna actually boil water today and see how long it takes for this stove to actually boil water. The main cook pot is just 16 ounces, which actually you can put about 18 ounces in here, but I find that it works really, really well. And it's marked on here so you can put in uh, how much you need depending on what type of food you're cooking at the time. Um, the one thing that I'll say is because the stove gets burning so hot, it's actually melted some of the rubber on these handles. Um, and I'll show you a little trick about how to preserve those so that they don't keep melting and going away. You want some more seed? Here you go, Kev. Kevin's a lot easier to feed than me on a trail, so um, he just eats seed and he loves it. All right, so then um, the main part of this stove is the brain here and it works really well. It's super tiny and um, packs down super, super small. And I like it, it doesn't have any big knobs or anything like that. These top prongs that fold out are really pretty, pretty strong and pretty sturdy uh, and they can hold a pot really well. They actually, it's hard to see, but they come over the top of a pot and, uh, and hold it really, so I could even use a larger pot than this if I wanted to. Then the P, the throttle actually pulls out to the side. They have plus and minus, so you know which way you're going with it. Um, when you're gonna attach your bottle, make sure you go all the way to negative before you do that. And then you just thread your bottle on. So it works just like any small stove that works on a canister. You know, you just turn it to go higher or lower. But I thought it'd be great to see how quickly we can boil water with the actual crux in 40, this is 46 degree weather today. So let's see what we can do. We'll get our water set up and filled. Kevin might try to drink our water, we'll see. All right, so I'm doing 12 ounces of water to see how quickly it will boil. We need to get our phone out, get a timer going. Clock, stopwatch. All right, now to light it up, you just turn it, you know what? I'm a little worried about Kevin up here when I'm working the stove, so I'm gonna put Kevin down on the ground, let him kind of work on all the stuff below. Here you go, Kev. Go ahead, walk around, bud. So now, we'll just start her up. I'm gonna put it at full. And I'm gonna start the timer now. Start. Now, one thing that I learned about this stove is how the rubber will melt. So I have to kind of find where the wind is blowing and I turn the pot handle towards the wind and that'll keep it from actually melting all this plastic. Before, I would put it and it would blow up and actually like melt it. I'm gonna put a lid on just to help because that's what this is for and see how long it takes us to boil. I'm gonna actually bring you around so you can see. So we're currently just over two minutes and we're starting to get a boil going. All right, so we're at about two minutes, 50 seconds. 
and we have got a pretty good boil going, a lot of steam, and it is rolling. So under three minutes on that boil time. All right, set you back up over there, and it's 3.30 and three minutes, 30 seconds, and it is really, really boiling at this time. So I have found that in winter conditions, I actually have to put foil around this to keep it to make it boil quicker and I can get it under four minutes I can get the water to boil no problem in winter conditions obviously in really warm conditions you're looking at like three minutes no problem so as you can see the Optimus Crux is a great stove just for a soloist I found that it's been held up wonderfully for the last year and a half now you can take a canister like this and it'll all come down to 15 ounces just under a pound and that should last you the weekend like if I go with my son we take an extra canister these actual pots are really good for just making hydrated meals and throwing stuff in, but you can also cook in this pot. I have also taken this pot and cooked it on a fire and it's held up just fine. So if you want to, if you're interested in something like this, like the Crux, um, go ahead and click the link below on my Amazon affiliate and check it out. Till next time, just remember, life's a hike, so hike happy with a chicken. What do you think, huh? What do you think, Kevin girl, huh? Kevin's actually a girl, but I just like the name Kevin. So we gave her the name Kevin.